In Afghanistan, a resistance arises. The Afghanistan fiasco was totally avoidable. Had President Biden listened to his military advisors and kept a small troop presence, coupled with U.S. air support to the Afghan military, the Taliban would not be in power today. Unfortunately, the president did not heed their advice, and now the Taliban control more of Afghanistan than they did in 2001. But while most of the Afghan army has melted away, not all Afghans have capitulated to the Taliban. Today, the Taliban face armed resistance in the Panjshir Valley. While the odds are stacked against the newly formed National Resistance Front NRF, of Afghanistan, their situation is still interesting enough for U.S. policymakers to watch. The exact number of former Afghan soldiers, commandos, and police that have made it to Panjshir to join the NRF is unknown, but it may range as high as 10,000 fighters. The Taliban have encircled the region and captured large sections of the main valley. However, it is estimated that the NRF controls all the crucial side valleys, which make up about 60% of the province. Right now, the NRF is in a defensive mode. The focus is not to take on the Taliban, but to make it through winter. That will give it time to consolidate and organize and be better prepared to resist the Taliban come spring. The most immediate thing the U.S. can do to help the NRF is to lead an international effort to block recognition of the Taliban as the legitimate government of Afghanistan.